So many people want to journal, but don't know how. I see these comments on my TikToks, on my YouTube videos, everywhere. And I journal every day, multiple times a day. So I'm going to share my advice, share my tips to help you get off your feet and start the journal. Um, I took some notes in my journal, which we're going to go through. Um, and here. There's a lot. And before you continue this video, you, I'm going to challenge you to remove any preconceived notion you have about journaling. Remove any pressures that you have created about yourself or about journaling. Um, put it to the side, out the window. It doesn't matter. Just listen. I don't know tons of things in the world, but I know a lot about journaling. I know a lot about writing and creating and just keeping a book. I can talk about it for hours, and I will, and I have already. There's plenty of videos on here on my channel about journaling and notebooks and whatever. Um, but please listen with an open mind, and you also need to be honest with yourself. I'm going to talk about that a lot throughout the video, of being honest with yourself. Um, journaling is at its core about speaking to yourself and being honest with yourself and knowing yourself. And you might be thinking, well, I don't know who I am. I don't know myself yet. That's what the journal is for. But in order to get to that point, you have to be at least willing to be honest with yourself. You don't have to know all these things and be, and be profound and super in inner reflective inner whatever i'm not there's a lot of stuff that i don't know about myself and i'm still learning but you have to be willing to be honest with that said our first point you have to figure out why you want the journal in the first place a lot of people are like, I started a journal and I, it, it, I did it for like five days and then I, I stopped doing it. Um, I don't like how my handwriting looks. It doesn't look good. It's blah, blah, blah. Why do you want to journal in the first place? If your answer is because I see people on TikTok do it and I see people on YouTube do it, so I want to do it. Here's some harsh love, some tough love. Your journal will never work. You will never work in your journal if your intent behind it is because you see other people do it and you have like a little bit of FOMO it's not going to work out in order to journal and to journal productively and journal in a way where you feel connected where that journal feels like another limb on your body you have to want it and not because you saw someone else do it or you saw a video that is like, I don't know, promoting journaling. You have to do it because you want to do it because you want to get to know yourself. That's what journaling is. It's getting to know yourself, whether it's through drawing, whether it's through writing, whether it's through just documenting things you see. There's a reason why you documented when that bird ducked down and nipped someone in the head. There's a reason why it stuck with you and you wrote it down. It doesn't have to be deep, but there's a reason. And all of these little things add up to who you are. I would recommend do not force yourself to journal just because people are doing it or because the idea seems nice to you. I have been in that mind space, mindset before, I promise, of... Well, everybody's journaling, and I, I really like watching for journal, journaling videos, and people do this, and I, I want to do it. It doesn't stick. I know from experience it's not going to stick, and it's not going to work in the way that you want, and you're going to have started to have a negative connotation with journaling because every time you try, it doesn't work. You have to be honest, and it might take time to where you're at a point in your life where you want to do it in order to know yourself. If you're doing it because social media is trying to get you to do it or you see videos about that, take a break, come back when you're ready. And 
It might be quick. It might be a long time. You have to want it because you feel it. You can't want it because of external validation or FOMO. It's not going to work in the way that it's supposed to. And you're going to end up forcing yourself to do stuff that you don't like. Okay? First and foremost. Let's say you're past that. And also, that feeling may come and go. Okay? That's okay, too. Um, Journaling is something that is going to change as you grow, as you get older, as life changes. Your journaling opinions will change as you grow. The journals that you like will change. The way that you like to journal will change. Everything has changed. So don't be so nailed into finding the perfect solution because it will change. I have changed journal systems and setups and methods hundreds of times. I change it all the time. Um, It's going to change, okay? So don't be hard on yourself when that happens. Once you're in this mindset of, I need somewhere else to express myself, I need somewhere to get to know myself, and you think journaling is the way for you to go, figure out what type of journal you want to keep. There's many different types, and you can choose multiple. It doesn't have to be one or the other. It can be one, two of the the things that I'm going to say. It can be all the things I'm going to say. It's going to be none of the things that I say, and you can create your own thing. A journal is for you. It is for your eyes only. If you choose to share it with the world online or with friends and family, that's up to you. But please, you are doing a disservice to yourself if your intent is to journal to show. It kind of ropes back to the why do you want to journal. I feel like it's for the wrong reasons. Um, And obviously everything that I say, take it with a grain of salt. It applies differently to different people. Maybe you journaling for other people helps you more cool then this video might not be for you okay take it all with a grain of salt this is my opinions on journaling my advice if you have a method that works for you you use it okay i'm not i don't come poking at me and saying well actually my my journal works for me because i do it like this and i it's, it's wrong but what you're saying is wrong okay what you're saying is wrong in my perception you see journaling is from person to person different. These are my tips, my advice. Okay? Don't point the gun at me, okay? Once you're ready to journal, figure out what kind of journal do you want to keep. What is it about journaling that you like? Do you want somewhere to express your feelings deeper? Where you want to work out some emotions you're dealing with? You want to write long form? Are you wanting to journal to remember things, remember moments in your life, kind of look back at stuff later on down the road, five, ten years later, and be like, oh, I completely forgot that I went to the zoo with so-and-so and and whatever. Um, Are you wanting to sketch? You want to draw more? Just be more creative in general and do stuff like that? Are you researching something and want to take notes? There's a million different ways you could do it. Do you want to plan things out? Are you using it as a planner? You know, there's a million different reasons to keep a book, to keep a journal, and you can combine everything into one book. You can separate things out. You got to find what works for you. And I encourage you to try multiple different things, even if you feel like maybe I don't really want to do a planner. Maybe I don't want to make memories of things. Try them all out, okay? Especially if you don't really know where to go, but you know so badly you want to express yourself in a book. Try them all and see what sticks. Um, You'll find that journaling is something that takes a long time to kind of perfect and figure out what works for you. If you're just starting, also, it's even harder. I've been journaling off and on my whole life, and I have books from when I was a kid, middle school, high school, now and I've always enjoyed writing in books and having books and stationery and art supplies so I can only imagine how hard it is if you're starting from scratch and you've never journaled before try everything I recommend trying everything until you figure out what it is that works for you and again honesty 
is the biggest aspect behind all of it. Um, you have to be able to recognize what is and isn't working for you, recognize why you're doing it. You know, that's the big thing is why are you journaling? And all of these answers can change as you grow and they will change. So again, don't try to nail yourself down to one way of journaling or having one certain type of book. Say you buy one book that you really like, you love the paper, you love that it was dot grid or something, I don't know. And then maybe you realize, I don't want that one next time. Be okay with doing new things and trying new things. It's all about creating whether you think you're being creative or not, writing and journaling is a creative act. It's a creative practice. Your mind will become more engaged and become more creative as you journal. So allow yourself to have the freedom to be creative, especially in your journal. That's the place where your mind can exist in reality. I told my friend the other day, I was like, journaling is what makes abstract conceptual thoughts that aren't tangible and real physically real you can have all these feelings and think all these things they don't really mean anything until you've made them real you've written them down and now you have like proof of these concepts and ideas you have in your head that's why when people are writing books and making movies and everything they write it down it makes it real having all of this stuff up in your head also just clutters your brain. Once you express yourself on a piece of paper, you can kind of like delete stuff from your mind because it exists here. Um, I've found that when I'm in moments where I'm not journaling, my mind is so much more cluttered and hectic and chaotic because I'm trying to remember all of these things and keep them up here. And then when I write them all down, everything gets clear because I don't have to worry about it taking up space here. I know that it's safe somewhere else. Um, so... I don't know, just, you have to be honest with yourself. A lot of it is going to be introspection. And you might be thinking, and my journal's not going to be that deep. Like, I'm not going to be writing about deep things. It's not, like, it's not that deep. You're making it so serious. I'm not. I promise you. Um, it, journaling in the simplest form of writing down, like, three sentences of what you did every day. In that simplest form is still introspection you are still observing your life from a different perspective because once you go down to write you're observing yourself in a way that has already happened in the past tense which requires introspection and reflection to also choose what bits and pieces you want to write down and those tell who you are you know you might have a day where you go through 10 horrible things and at the same time, 10 great things. And when you sit down at the end of the day to write down your five sentences, when you sort through those 20 different things, are you writing down more of the negative things that happened or the positive things that you happened? Even in that simplest form, it's very introspective and it's very personal, okay? Your journal is super personal to you. You don't have to share it with anybody if you don't want to. I see a lot of people comment like, I don't know, that their, their handwriting doesn't look good or they want their journal to look pretty. Why? I think, especially on TikTok, a lot of the journaling content is very, I would argue, leans toward harmful. I think it kind of strips back what journaling is and the intent behind it and makes it just for show, you know? Your journal doesn't have to be for show. You don't have to show anyone. You can make it as messy or as neat as you want, and that's dependent on you. And again, you have to be honest with yourself as to if you think you want things to be pretty and perfect, why? Is it for yourself or is it for the possibility of other people seeing it? And if it's for other people seeing it, again, I would take some time to figure out what you are journaling for not who you're journaling for the other thing i see a lot of the time is people are just like this journal doesn't work like it, it's not working it's not the journal it's you at the end of the day your journal is just a book 
It's just a book of random paper. What makes the journal your journal is the things that you put into it, the things that are from your mind. You are your journal. The journal is simply a tool to express. And for some people, it's a book. For some people, it's the notes app on their phone. For some people, it's a digital diary thing. For some people, it's a video where you sit down and record yourself and vlogging. That's a form of journaling. Um, But all of those things, all those different ways can be a way of journaling but you are the journal with whatever medium you do you are the one who is giving the creative insight giving the thoughts the memories whatever you have to find what works best for you if you're open to exploring that and figuring that out on your own i suggest you do that and try all these different mediums whether it's video whether it's digital whether it's a physical book whatever Try those things and see what sticks. If you don't know where to begin, this is my advice. If you have nowhere to start, it's all hectic. This is what I suggest. Go get a notebook. I know you have one sitting in your room somewhere. If you clicked on this video, I'm positive you have a notebook somewhere in your room that you have either started and wrote five to ten pages in and the entire rest of the book is blank, go grab it right now. Go grab that book. Maybe you have notebooks that are you've kind of repurposed and like tore out the front pages that you've used and are like, well, I'll use this one day. I'm going to keep it for one day. Today's the day. Go get it. Pick it up right now. Because I know you probably look at it every time you're about to start a new journal and you're like, uh, I would use this one, but I've already used it, so it doesn't feel so brand new, so I'm going to go buy a new one. Go get the one that was sitting on your shelf that you ripped the front sketches out of and use it right now. Pause the video. Pause the video and go pick up the notebook. And then come back, and I'll tell you what to do with it. But go grab it. Grab a pen, grab a pencil, grab a marker, whatever you like to write with or draw with. Get it. Now. Go get it. I'll wait. Okay. Now that you have your notebook, here are my rules for you. Very simple, okay? And again, this is if you don't know what to do. You're not open to exploring new things. You kind of want something quicker and you want to try something right now. This is for you. That notebook is going to have two rules. I think. I said this in the last video. I think it was two. There might have been three. Rule number one. You're going to take this notebook everywhere that you go. Anywhere that your phone goes. At the bare minimum. Everywhere that your phone goes, this notebook goes with you. And if you just picked up a notebook and you're thinking, this is a really big notebook. How am I going to carry this? Get a bag. Take a bag with you. Grab a tote bag. Grab a backpack. Take it everywhere. Do not make an excuse to not use the notebook. Take it everywhere. This is for one week, okay? I'm going to challenge you to do this for one week and then see where you're at. For one week, take that notebook everywhere that you go. If it doesn't fit in the bag, the bag is the problem. Get a different bag. Take the notebook. Do not make one excuse as to why you can't use the notebook. Take it everywhere. Anywhere you go. Going to a concert, take it with you. Going to an amusement park, take it with you. Going to a family party, take it with you. Going to the bathroom to take a dump for 20 minutes, take it with you. You're going to take your phone, aren't you? Someone's going to be like, ew, that's so gross. Don't you take your phone on there? If you don't take your phone on there, then don't take the notebook because then that that's, seems like it's your personal time. Um, take it everywhere. Everywhere that you go. Rule number two, don't set any rules for your notebook, apart from taking it everywhere. What I mean by don't set rules is don't make a rule that you have to journal every day for blah, blah, blah amount of time at 9.30 p.m. every day. Don't set rules like that. 
don't set a rule that says you can only write in this book. Don't set a rule that says you can only sketch in this book. Don't set a rule that you can only memory keep in this book. Don't put any restrictions on it. Right now is a time for you to explore what it is that you like. So I urge you to try everything. If you don't like drawing, I don't care. Try drawing something. It can be simple. Draw Mickey Mouse. Draw a star. Draw a moon. Something simple, but draw. Try, try things, okay? This book is going to be a method of trying, okay? And exploring things by yourself. So don't set any rules. I'm going to contradict what I just said, actually. This is the third rule. At the bare minimum, five minutes a day. At any point that you want, it doesn't have to be five minutes consecutive. It can be a minute, so you open it, you write five words, and you're like, eh, I don't want to do it right now. Close the book. Come back later. But spend at least five minutes. You have five minutes in your day. At some point in the day, replace five minutes on TikTok. Replace five minutes on YouTube. Take five minutes out of making dinner one night. Maybe make something that's frozen instead of cooking something. But take five minutes every day and write or draw or just scribble all over the page. Do whatever. Five minutes. Okay? That notebook that you have sitting in front of you right now, the goal is for it to feel like it is part of you. Do whatever you want to it, okay? Just don't restrict yourself. No one has to see it. In fact, don't show anyone. I want you to go into this week-long experiment and don't show anybody, okay? Don't, don't. It's gonna ruin it, okay? If you know that you're gonna show people and you're gonna want to show people, don't. Show people a different journal and make that one look pretty. But for this one, for this experiment, don't show anyone. Be as true to yourself as you can possibly be. I am going to show you some, uh, some spreads in my journal to show you what I'm talking about. This book that I have in front of me is part of the exact experiment that I'm doing or that I'm telling you to try. In here, I've got a ticket to Claro. I've got a ton of random little just blurb entries. None of it's cohesive. None of it makes sense. I have little doodles in here. And I found myself at like day four or five trying to make things kind of look a little more cohesive and look cool because I was like, oh, what if I end up showing someone? If you start feeling that at some point and you catch yourself like trying to make it look good, flip the page and scribble. Scribble. Don't even think about it. Just do it, okay? That's what I did here. I scribbled on this page before I started writing on it. I was like, I noticed that I was trying to make everything look nice, and I was like, oh, I'm doing it again. So I was like, I scribbled, and then I wrote. I'm catching myself lose the purpose of this book. Be messy. The whole point is to be free and expand my mind. The sketchbook paper is tricking me a little. I think I'm trying to make... I think I'm trying to be a little more conscious, cautious instead of using this to be messy. Don't lose sight of why this book was started, is what I wrote. Be messy, okay? Please. That's where you're going to find yourself, is in the mess. Your brain is a mess. You'll find your mess. You'll find yourself in the mess in here, okay? Try it for a week, please. I promise you, it'll be good. Once this week is over and so you've kind of found your footing and you know what you want to do, then is when I would still suggest you finish the book front to back um, and be creative with it, okay? You can do whatever you want. Don't do the book front to back, flip the page. Maybe start writing in the back of the book too at the same time. What I'm doing right now is I put kind of my daily notes at the front and sketches and like I'll paste things in from throughout the day like the Claro ticket or receipts and stuff. I'll put that up at the front, and then in the back of the book, I am writing long-form journal entries, just words. And I think that kind of tricks your mind into thinking you're getting more done, because instead of watching your book go from front to back, fill up, you're kind of seeing them meet in the center, and it looks like both ends are being used, and I think your mind will think you're doing more. So 
if you're feeling a little stuck, that's another little tip for you. Um, I learned that from Crystal on YouTube. Her username is at 888 underscore Crystal, I think, or Crystal underscore. I don't know. I'll link her below. Um, she has great videos on journaling too. So I would also recommend, you know, surrounding yourself with creative journaling videos um, and get in the mindset. If you want to do it, do it, okay? Um, but yeah, I don't know. Be kind to yourself, be honest with yourself, and let yourself experiment and be messy, okay? You will find yourself in that. Don't show anybody. Don't even put the expectation of showing anybody. Don't even think for a minute that you're going to show somebody. You are not, okay? Your journal is for you. It is for your eyes only. For this week, do this little experiment. See how you feel. You'll feel better, I promise, okay? Um, those are my tips on how to start a journal. Um, I hope it provided some insight. If not, I'm sorry. Um, those are just my tips and how I kind of started and what has been working for me. And I hope it works for you. And don't make excuses for yourself, okay? Open the book, use the book. You're not too tired. You're ignoring yourself. Use the book. That's all I have to say. Take the book everywhere. Don't create any rules. Five minutes a day. For a week. See how you feel. That's all I have to say. Okay, I'm done now. Thank you for watching. Um, please share your experiences down below. Comment other tips for other people. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Um, that's all I have to say. I hope you find yourself, and I hope that journaling works out for you. I'm going to go journal right now, so I'll see you later.